Question one, what is the sum of any two odd numbers and B part is even numbers? So we will have to have the combination of odd numbers and even numbers. In first case, odd numbers like 5 plus 7 gives you 12 and 3 plus 9 gives you 12, which is again an even number. Similarly, 15 plus 17 gives you 32, which is an even number. Even number, 6 plus 2 gives you 8. 8 plus 10 gives you 18, which is an even number. And 16 plus 20 is 36, which is even number. So, we can say that addition of any two odd numbers and even numbers will always give you an even number so that was your question number one second state whether the following statements are true or false we have a to j we will do the first one the sum of three odd numbers is even well we will take three odd numbers namely one plus one plus one that gives you three which is an odd number. Therefore, A is false. P part, the sum of two odd numbers and one even number is even. Again, we will take 3 plus 5 plus 2, which gives you 10, which is an even number. Therefore, P part is correct. C, the product of three odd number is odd. Well, we will take three numbers and we will multiply. 1 into 3 into 5 gives you 15, which is an odd number. Therefore, it is true. C part is true. D. If an even number is divided by 2, the quotient is always odd. Well, first take the cases. In first case, we are dividing 6 by 2. Here, we get 3 as a quotient, which is an odd number. Therefore, it is correct. But we will take another case to prove it wrong. It is said always. We have to check. Now, we are dividing 12 by 2. Here, 6 is an even number and it is a quotient. Therefore, B statement is false. E part. All prime numbers are odd. Well, 2 is a prime number and it is even number. Therefore, E is false here. F part. Prime numbers do not have any factors. Every number has 1 and itself as a factor. So, we cannot say that prime numbers don't have any factors. So, this is false again. Sum of two prime numbers is always even. Let's take example. 2 plus 5 is 7, which is an odd number. Therefore, G statement is false. H. 2 is the only even prime number. Well, this statement is correct. Also, smallest prime number as well. Therefore, H is correct or true. I. All even numbers are composite numbers. Well, a whole number that can be divided evenly by numbers other than 1 itself are composite numbers. But 2 is a prime number. Therefore, I statement is false. J part, the product of two even numbers is always even. Well, we will take 4 into 6, that is 24, which is an even number. So, J statement is correct. And that was your question number second. Third, the numbers 13 and 31 are prime numbers. Both these numbers have same digits 1 and 3. Find such pairs of prime numbers up to 100. So, try to find such pairs. Only three such pairs are possible up to 100. And these three pairs are... 17 and 71 number first pair another one is another one is 37 and 73 which are prime numbers again and the last pair is 79 and 97 so uh, this was your question number third fourth write down separately the prime and composite numbers less than 20 here Prime numbers less than 20 are written, namely 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Less than 20. Now, composite numbers less than 
ट्वेंटी और फोर सिक्स एट नाइन टेन ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन एंड एटीन सो दीज आर कॉम्पोजिट नंबर लेस देन ट्वेंटी सो दैट वॉज योर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्थ क्वेश्चन फाइव वट इज द ग्रेटेस्ट प्राइम नंबर बिटवीन वन एंड टेन सो प्राइम नंबर बिटवीन वन एंड टेन और टू थ्री फाइव एंड सेवन एंड हेयर इट इज क्लियरली विजिबल दैट सेवन इज द ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर सो दिस वॉज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ सिक्स एक्सप्रेस द फॉलोइंग एज द सम ऑफ ऑल टू ऑर प्राइम्स सो फोर्टी फोर कैन बी रिटन एज सेवन प्लस थर्टी सेवन विच आर टू ऑर प्राइम्स ऑल्सो इट कैन बी रिटन एज थ्री प्लस फोर्टी वन so this is how we will do rest of the parts a is done now b 36 36 can be written as 5 plus 31 which are again two odd primes so this was your b part c 24 24 can be written as addition of 5 plus 19 which are adding two prime numbers so 24 is this and now the d part last part 18 can be written in two ways 5 plus 13 and 7 plus 11, which are sum of two primes numbers. So this was your question sixth. Question seven. Give three pairs of prime numbers whose difference is two. They have given a note. Two prime numbers whose difference is two are also called twin primes. So we are going to write twin primes. So following are the pairs are the five pairs whose difference is two. First is Five and three. When we subtract it, we get two. Seven and five again two. When we subtract, similarly for thirteen, eleven, and forty-three, forty-one, and seventy-three, seventy-one gives two as well. So this was your question seven. Eight. Which of the following numbers are prime? We'll have to check from A to D. Which amongst them are prime? So first part, twenty-three can be written as a factor of one and twenty-three. So therefore, they are prime numbers. Second is fifty-one into one gives you fifty-one. So three is also a factor. Seventeen is a factor. One is a factor, so it is a composite number. Third one, thirty-seven can be written as factor of one and thirty-seven itself. Therefore, it is a prime number. Now the last part, B part, twenty-six. It has four factors, namely one, two, thirteen, and twenty-six itself. So it is a composite number. So this was your question eight. Question nine: Write seven consecutive composite numbers less than hundred, so that there is no prime number between them. So we'll have to find the consecutive numbers. So there are seven composite numbers. That is eighty-nine and ninety-seven. So ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six. You can always check these factors of these following numbers. For an instance, ninety-five has a factor one five, ninety, and ninety-five respectively. So this is how you will do question number nine. Ten. Express each of the following numbers as the sum of three odd primes. Twenty-one can be written as sum of three plus five plus thirteen, which are three odd primes. Similarly, we can write three plus seven plus eleven. That again gives you twenty-one. So this is how you will do the rest of the questions. For thirty-one, three plus five plus twenty-three, and also five plus seven plus nineteen also gives you thirty-one. Fifty-three can be written as a sum of thirteen, seventeen, twenty-three, as well. Three plus nineteen plus thirty-one. And the last part, the D part, sixty-one can be written as a sum of seven, thirteen, forty-one, which are primes again by eleven, nineteen, and thirty-one. So this was your question number ten. Question eleven: Write five pairs of prime numbers less than twenty whose sum is divisible by five. So a hint is given, like three plus seven gives you ten, which is divisible by five. So these are some other alternatives, like two plus three gives you five, which is again divisible by five. Two plus thirteen gives you fifteen, which is again divisible by five. Then your third, that is three plus seventeen gives you twenty. Similarly, seven plus thirteen gives you twenty. So these are the addition of prime numbers. And the last one is eleven plus nineteen gives you thirty. Which is again divisible by five, like five, six, or thirty. So this was your question eleven. Question twelve. Fill in the blanks. So we have a fill in the blanks. The first is a number which has only two factor is called a. It is called a prime number. That's what we have studied in this chapter. Now the B part. A number which has more than two factors is called a. 
it is called a composite number. C part one is neither dash nor dash. Well, it is neither a prime number nor a composite number. The smallest prime number is two, obviously. E part the smallest composite number is four. Three is odd number. The smallest, the last one, the smallest even number is well again it is two. So this was your question number twelve, and it was your final question.